Greetings, this is Dr. Hadley with a screencast demonstration on how to embed your Twitter feed into your blog. On the page you're looking at now is my, it's my uh, Twitter page. Um, what you're going to do is scroll down to the resources link, click on that. When you get to the resources page, click on widgets, see all widgets. And then when you get to the choice to select your widget, select widgets for my website. You get four options on that page, profile widget, search widget, faves widget, and list widget. You should click on list widget. And when you get there, it's going to ask for your username. So whatever your username is, the one that's in the upper right, um, upper right portion of your page, type that username in for username. So I'm typing in my username, and then click Find Lists. Now you should have created several lists, or at least one list, uh, on your website. I mean, on your Twitter page for the various different um, Twitter accounts that you subscribe to. Click on the lists, and I'm just going to scroll down to one of my lists, which is social media and tech news. So that's one of my lists. Then it, over here on the right, you see a sample of, uh, or an image of what your Twitter feed will look like. So here, I can enter a title for what that Twitter widget is going to, the title at the top of the Twitter widget. I'll just copy social media and tech news. And the caption could be, um, maybe I'll just say, Twitter news is great. You can put anything you want for your title and your caption. It should be relevant. Um, I don't necessarily want this particular color for my widget, so I'm going to click on appearance and I can change the color. So here you can see color, the background color. I'd like to change that, so I can just pull this little slider down and you see the color change. I want the color to maybe be a brown color, so I'll just leave it there. You could also change some of the other colors if you want. Um, I'm going to just leave it as is. Dimensions, if you needed to, you could change this. If for some reason the dimensions don't come out right on your blog page, you could manipulate this, as well as other preferences, but the number of tweets that show up, for example. But I'm going to leave it as is, and, um, uh, and if there's a problem, we can always come back to it. So you can click Test Settings, and it'll show you what the, the uh, feed will look like. The, uh, the letters, you know, the, the colors here were all part of the appearance setting. The links, col the link colors, tweet text, all of that was set in the appearance link. So dimensions I'll leave as is. We've tested the settings. They look okay. So I'm going to click finish and grab code. I have two options. I can either copy and paste all this code into my blog, or I could just click add to blogger. The simplest thing is to add to blogger, so I'll click that. And I have to select a particular blog. Make sure you're selecting your blog for this class. Um, so I'm going to click on Tom3354. And I'm just going to leave the title as Twitter. And I'm going to click Add Widget. And it's actually going to take me to the design page. Um, this is kind of in the background of your blog. And actually that title, that Twitter title, actually has automatically been added here in the design page. It's actually right here. If you clicked on edit, you'd be able to see that um, HTML text. So I'm just going to cancel. And if you want to preview the Twitter feed that's been added, click preview. 
And as you can see, here's the blog, here's my course blog, and here's the feed. And it fit in perfectly. And um, as new tweets are added, the uh, screen will, the tweets will scroll down. So it's as simple as that. Um, so I hope this was a helpful uh, tutorial for you. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, we'll look forward to more videos in the next module. Take care.